Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Today, I wanted to talk to you about 38,000 commitment from the VA. What does that mean? What does it look like? What's it talking about? Well, that's what I was wondering too. And so I dug in a little deeper. Hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. Hey, it's better that we know what's going on, right, with the VA than just walk around blind to what's going on. The VA works for us. And we need to know what's happening and, and make sure that they're doing good things for us. So let's take a look here. From the Office of Public and Intergovernmental Affairs, uh, this came out a couple days ago. Don't know how I missed it I'm well because I'm busy, but I try to keep up on things for you, at least within a few days, right? So VA announces a goal to house 38,000 veterans experiencing homelessness in 2023. So let's go ahead and read it. Today, the Department of Veterans Affairs, which is a couple days ago, so today is a couple days ago, the Department of Veterans Affairs announced its 2023 goals for preventing and ending veteran homelessness specifically in 2023. VA will, which is pretty strong, VA will do these three things. Here's three bullets here. VA will place at least 38,000 veterans experiencing homelessness into permanent housing. VA will ensure that at least 95% of veterans housed in 2023 do not return to homelessness during the year. And of those who return to homelessness, VA will ensure that at least 90% are rehoused or on a path to rehousing by the end of 2023. Last bullet here, VA will engage with at least 28 thousand unsheltered veterans to help them obtain and or and to help them obtain housing and other wraparound services the goal represents more than 10 percent increase in the number of unsheltered veterans reached during 2022 so a while back i did a video on more money going to the va an increased budget and some of this will help them accomplish these goals is my guess all right, moving on in the article, ending veteran homelessness is a top priority of the VA and the current administration and really probably every administration. The number of veterans experiencing homelessness has fallen by 11%, 11 since early 2020 and by more than 55% since 2010. Additionally, during 2022, VA placed more than 40,000 homeless veterans into permanent housing, exceeding VA's 2022 goal by more than 6%. We, uh, here's a quote from the secretary, we are making real progress in the fight to end homelessness, but every, but every one veteran experiencing homelessness is one too many. We will not rest until every veteran is safe, stable, uh, is has a safe and stable place to call home in this country we have fought to defend and moving on va also announced specific goals for con for combating veteran homelessness in the greater los angeles area during 2022 va provided 1301 permanent housing placements to formerly homeless veterans in la the most of any city in America. In 2023, VA will build on that progress by, and I list two bullet points here. So my guess is that homelessness in, veteran, in the veteran community is, is very, 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 very high in LA. So that's why there's an additional focus there. Providing at least 1,500 permanent housing placements to formerly homeless veterans. So that's one bullet. Second bullet is, conducting at least 1,888, funny number, 1,888 engagements with unsheltered veterans to help them obtain housing and other wraparound services. VA's efforts to combat veteran homelessness are grounded in reaching out to homeless veteran, veterans, understanding their unique needs and addressing them. These efforts are built upon the evidence-based housing first approach, which prioritizes getting a veteran into housing, then provides the veteran with wraparound support they need to stay housed, including healthcare, job training, legal and education assistance, and more. 
Of the 40,401 veterans housed by the VA in 2022, 2,443 returned to homelessness at some point last year. With the help of the VA staff and community partners, 86% of those veterans were rehoused or on a path to rehousing by the end of the year. There are several reasons why veterans may return to homelessness after being placed into permanent housing, such as financial hardship and illness. And VA works to return them to a stable look, works to return them to stable housing as quickly and sustainably as possible. This initiative is part of the administration's broader effort to reduce homelessness for all Americans by 25 percent uh, by 2025. Uh, da, 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 and then it kind of goes off the side here for more information, and then there's uh, a link. So, with that. Just wanted to share that information so everybody's aware of uh, the additional efforts by the VA in order to uh, combat homelessness uh, or really at risk of becoming homeless uh, uh, veterans. So I'll go ahead and put the information into the description below. And I appreciate you listening and watching. Thanks again. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.